from Beverly Hills to New York City. That's the trip the Courier made this week to launch its new monthly supplement, Fashion Forward. We are coming to you from the Paley Center in Manhattan. Let's head up to the action. Along with the launch of Fashion Forward, two-time Beverly Hills Mayor Jimmy Delshad and Joan Rivers were on hand to present career columnist George Christie with the first copy of a commemorative book titled The Best of George Christie in the Beverly Hills Courier, 2009 to 2011. It's gorgeous. I, I, um, I just want to say very, few, uh, very briefly, George Christie is an icon, he's an institution, but he's also, as my manager says, relevant. Oh. And that, I think, is the nicest thing you can say about somebody over 50. He is, uh, but you know, when, when you look at his columns, I was looking through this book, which is amazing, the paper you want to just kill yourself for. It's just so beautiful. And then the columns. I mean, everybody, up to date, all the ones, you know, every hooker in here, every second wife, every, everybody that's our, our world now, you know? Third wives, fourth wives, there's Whitney Houston. I mean, it's all, it's right up to, and the Shriver on a separate page, or Schwarzenegger on a different page, it's all that. Uh, George Christie is amazing. I don't think I have to tell anybody in the room about this. George has always had the pulse of the city, the pulse of the industry, my industry. Uh, you go to his column to see what's happening, and he tells you the truth, and he tells you the good tidbits, and he's never cruel, but he's a great gossip, and that makes for a great column. And I am so proud to give this to you, George. I hope it's one in a collection of 20. Oh. You know, that would be wonderful. Thank you so much. Best of George Christie. This is the best of George Christie. Oh, this you. is the second best of George Christie, but it's in the Beverly Hills Courier, 2009, 2011. Just Thank you. Such love. Thank you, dear esteemed publisher Cliff Smith, for publishing this magnificence. And, and thank you so much, Jimmy, for your kind words. And as you know, Valentino said, the most important fashion street in the world is Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills. Did you know that? We're here with Joan Rivers, and tonight we're honoring the one and only George Christie. What do you like most about him? His humor, his intelligence. He is so smart. He is so well read. Uh, George is so sharp. He's terrific. And his writing. His, I forget, his writing. How, how long have you known him? I've known George now, my God, at least 35 years. And we really connected because we both like the same China pattern. Excellent. <laughs> and just finally, the Beverly Hills Courier, you submit columns to us. Like, what do you like about the paper? I love the paper again, for George's column. I love it because it's about Beverly Hills and the sheepness of it. Because it's an amazing, it's, it's an amazing name, Beverly Hills. It's an amazing brand. And your paper, I think, captures it perfectly. And George's column is so damn up to date. It's exactly what just happened in Beverly Hills. That's right, he's on the ball. Well, Joan, thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much. Leaders in the New York fashion, media and advertising industries turned up for the event held in Midtown Manhattan, which also introduced the Courier's new fashion director, Tony Sanders. But we came to New York to introduce our fashion director, Tawny Sanders. Tawny? I really welcome this opportunity because it does give me a chance to express my creativity and to share a certain lifestyle with the world and I look forward to this. I have the pleasure to be joined by Janice Kinjo, who is a celebrity makeup artist here in New York. Uh, how much do you love the fashion industry? I love the fashion industry. The fashion industry is everything, especially as a makeup artist, you keep up with the trends, with the fashion, which matches the eyeshadows, which matches the makeup, which matches, it's everything. It's everything. You said you uh, grew up in California, so what, what can you tell us about Beverly Hills? Have you been there a few times? Absolutely. I have many, many friends, many clients that live in Beverly Hills, and um, Beverly Hills is amazing, beautiful, so luxurious, and it's so just pristine. That's what comes to mind, is pristine and luxury. And before you're telling me that you're recently in Beverly Hills, tell us, what did you think? I've been in Beverly Hills this winter, and I had an amazing time. I was researching all the design resources and making clients, and it's a beautiful resource to find things. Mirrors, lighting, furniture, everywhere. Yes, I live here. My business is here. But Beverly Hills is one of my biggest models. 
Tonight we're here launching Fashion Forward, a new supplement in the Beverly Hills Courier, and uh, some of your products are in the paper, so is that very exciting to know that they're getting talked about in Beverly Hills? Hugely exciting, and the thing that's really cool about it, I was actually in Beverly Hills, staying at the Thompson Hotel, um, when that paper came out, and I actually saw it, I was, I was there on business, and we were doing a trunk show at Neiman Marcus, and that was when the, it came, the issue came out, so I was like, oh my god, my shoes! It was incredible, so I was ecstatic. I'm here with Art Torno, who is the Vice President of American Airlines overseeing the New York market. Uh, have you guys released any new services lately? Absolutely. For New York in the last year, we actually launched over 40 flights, but most recently the international flights have been exciting. Budapest Tunnel we just launched last month. That came after uh, Rio de Janeiro, Manchester, uh, and uh, we also launched uh, Barcelona. Uh, some great destinations into Europe, and it's been a great year for us. So they're the most exciting destinations. Uh, we launched the Native Service nonstop. This is the first time out of New York in many decades that you know, in U.S. Well, in the Native, which is a close enough for the Japan. So we added Native Japan on top of. Uh, it's been a great year for us here in New York. Almost, almost as good as LA. I know LA did some great things with Shanghai and all. I think there's ten year routes they uh, recently announced. Well, now we're competing with LA. You know, we want to make sure that we stay on par with California here in New York. But uh, this is an important cornerstone as Los Angeles is. And uh, you know, the, the new launches have been terrific, and the flights are really doing really quite well. So excited about it. I'm here with our fabulous two-time Beverly Hills Mayor, Jim Adelsha, who's come all the way to Manhattan to help with the launch of Fashion Forward. Uh, you've had a look at the paper. What do you think? Uh, I think it's one of the greatest things that's happening to Beverly Hills. We just had everything that's happening, except we really didn't have this Fashion Forward section of a magazine. A magazine and a paper like this, which I call a magazine, is really a paper, but it's a magazine that needs that Fashion Forward. So we come to New York, the center of the people that advertise to show how important it is to be in Beverly Hills because we are, after all, the center of shopping, not the shopping center. And there you have it, the Courier's new fashion board supplement launched here at the Paley Center in New York City. For those of you who don't have access to the print edition, don't worry, the e-edition is available for free online. Just go to vhcourier.com. This is Brenton Garrett, signing off for the Beverly Hills Career.